Yeah, got him. Make sure you stick around. Coming up after the break, the mackerel are sizzling. They're off the sunny coast. It's an early morning start heading out from Mooloolaba. For myself and a good mate of mine, Rob Smith of South Queensland Charter Services. While some have fitness on their mind, for us it's the fishing. And reports of big schools of bait just offshore mean expectations are high for a cracking day. During the warmer months at the start of the year, the mackerel species set up shop in these waters. And without a doubt, the most prized member of the family would have to be the mighty Spaniard. First stop is for live bait, and with plenty of yakkers about, it's just a matter of bringing them in, rigging them up, and sending them back into the drench. Just pulling, you know, about two to three knots, live bait, so they're just pulling nice and straight, still doing their own motion. I was sitting right next to this one, when it hit, and they just whack it. Got to keep an eye on your rod, keep an eye on your fish, and just make sure we keep a good connection. See, it's coming sideways now. Just got to wind as fast as I can. Nice little Spaniard. Sonny, he hasn't finished with us yet. Oh, oh, oh. There he is. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's what they do. They get to the boat. And they're famous, the big Spaniards, for taking that last dart. Yeah. Dead clear. <laughs> Just be very mindful if you are catching mackerel, their teeth are razor sharp. Keep well away from them taking the hook out. And also when they're on the floor of the boat, that's when a lot of damage can be done. So just be mindful of their sharp teeth. But uh, what a thrill back here on the sunny coast. A sunny coast Spaniard, you little ripper. We're letting the birds guide us to the active bait school, which in turn lets us know where the big fish are. When it's boiling like this, it's great fun. Woo-hoo-hoo! the real, baby! Only fishing six kilo mono, so Smitty's got the drags all set. Most of the gear Rob has on board is from the local BTF store at Maruchido. Shimano Tiagra 16 with TLD 20 reels and Shimano backbone rods. And for terminal tackle, VMC hooks and Dynatech swivels. Pretty heavy duty stuff, but when you're dealing with strong pelagics like these fellas, quality gear is essential. Mackerel are so fun to catch. First run's just unbelievable. They're really good chewing as well. Great to eat, nice and fresh. Nice bari. Here you go forward, Scott, and yeah, they come behind you. Yeah, that's the better son yet, boys! Yes! Time of year, Sunshine Coast to be out here chasing them? Uh, from late November all the way through into about August. Yeah. Um, June, July, August, you'll see your big females. And every year out of Mooloola Bar, there'd be a couple of hundred pounders caught, like fish greater than 45 kilos. Wow. Right up, Most buddy. fishing charters are based out of a harbour, but Smitty's setup is quite unique. His boat is trailable, which means he's able to move up and down the coast depending on where the fish are biting. But the sunny coast is his favourite spot. In fishing Sunshine Coast, like I grew up here and I've forever been told, not fishing is good, but what's your opinion? It's pretty much a 12 month fishery. Places like the Gold Coast can go a bit quiet in the winter time for certain species, but um, yeah, the Sunshine Coast has definitely been really good to me the last two and a half years. Another little tip if you are planning on heading out chasing a few mackerel doing some trolling, just have a look at the angle of Smitty's rods. The tips are fairly close to the water. A lot of people just put them in the rod holders and they sit vertical like that and it pulls the lure up. Try and get those rod tips down close to the water so that lure pulls nice and straight and gives it a more natural action as opposed to wanting to pull up. So get yourself one, some of these, they fit straight into the rod holders you've got and it just keeps those rods at a really good angle. Go, 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 Smithy. There or not? He's on it, he's on it, he's on it, yeah. Woohoo! See, that one's working. It pays to have a good skipper. Clears all the rods for you, gets you onto the fish, trolls at the right speed, and more importantly, produces the hooker. <laughs> what a noise. That's the noise we love. Oh, really doesn't mind if you do it yourself here. Nice little Spaniardo. That top hook just through the skin. We're saying you've got to be very careful with your drag. We would have given him too much. That hook probably would have pulled out and we would have lost him. So, 
another little tip, not bad to let you drag off a bit when the fish get close to the boat, just in case something like that happens, but uh, another good little Spaniard. If you're keen to wet a line off the Sunshine Coast, then head into BCS Maroochydore, where you'll find everything you need for a successful day out on the water. And if you're unsure about what's biting in the area, then ask the friendly crew in store. Or if you want to spend a day out on the water with a local, give Smitty a buzz. Whether it's deep sea, reef or game fishing, he can tailor a charter to suit you.